Ayon sa yung rebun, really muda, marasa pangkap sa muda. Yok practice lang. Hey, yo fam, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Real, your resident Zori. Nice to meet you. Today we are going to. Okay, I have to tone it down because it's early. Currently like 2 a.m. So our flight is at 7 a.m. and we're currently preparing and we're about to go to Naia. So. Come with me, everybody. Let's go to Korea. So excited! I haven't slept for like so many days, and yung tulog ko like mga two hours per day lang. Sobrang excited ko na makabalik ng Korea. So I'm just really uh, looking forward for this trip. So yeah, let's go to Naia. Lordy, bye bye. See you after next week. Aww. Bye! We arrived at Naia very early in the morning as our flight is at around 7 a.m. And I think it's the best time to be at the airport because, alam mo yun, konta lang yung tao sa Naia, so the lines are not too long as compared pag daytime. Since we have so much time before boarding, may time pa tayo to roam around and go window shopping. There are several luxury stores in Naia, so if you love shopping, then I suggest you a lot time for the stores here. But for us, hanggang window shopping lang muna tayo at baka maubos baon natin for Korea. <laughs> At dahil dyan, let's chillax, kill some time, and have some breakfast muna at the Morhava Lounge. If you got a platinum credit card, I suggest you contact your bank because for sure may perks ka every year sa mga airport lounges. For me, I have a security bank platinum card so I have free access to Morhava Lounge twice every year. It's so nice to use this privilege because aside sa pagiging resting place itong lounge, they also have a free breakfast buffet. You may also get unlimited canned juices. As for me, I picked this Del Monte Sweet and Orange because I just love orange juice. <laughs> they also have bottles of sparkling water and if you want to get tipsy, Bacardi and Jack Daniels got you covered. But of course, we don't want to be in the morning very early and maybe we'll be hungover on the airplane, no? <laughs> and there's me, picking out the buffet table. <laughs> Parang dumaro lang sa party ni Mayor. If only I have topperwares, maybe I'll take out na for a snack later on the airplane. Joke. At the time, they were serving japchae chicken teriyaki and sandwiches which are all satisfying naman sa appetite. Ayun na! Start na pag shopping <laughs> So, ma-share ko lang, I've been eyeing two perfumes days before I left for Korea. One is Blue de Chanel and the other one is Dior Sauvage. I really intended to check them out sa Duty Free in Naia because it's tax-free, so definitely cheaper than its retail price. Also, I had a hard time finding these perfumes sa Manila, although I saw a lot of online stores selling these two perfumes. Pero kasi I cannot guarantee its authenticity, so just to be safe and very very sure, here na lang sa Duty Free ako nagbuy. Anyway, I ended up buying Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum because I find the scent more unique. But don't worry, Blue de Chanel, babalikan kita sa next trip ko, okay? Blue de Chanel also smells so great and this is also the perfume that our pambansang opa, Park Seo Joon, uses. Kaya must have yan. So we're now going to gate 101 because we're about to board the flight in about an hour. So yeah, see you soon in Chon. Ayan, and the long walk begins. <laughs> Buti na lang may walk later sa Terminal 3 because medyo far yung boarding gate ng flight namin but since we have one hour left till we fly away, no pressure sa paglilakad and we can still explore the wonders of Naia. Wow! Kala mo tourist spot ka na no? There are several pasalubong and snack stores along the way so if nagutom ka sa paglilakad to your boarding gate eh, pwede pwede ko ulit mag second breakfast. But for me, pass muna tayo dyan sa food at baka mamaya mas CR pa ako sa airplane. Mahirap na! Super small kayo ng restroom sa airplane and quite uncomfortable. Kaya better not drink or eat too much just to be safe from your own digestive system. <laughs> now, it's almost time to board the flight. For today's video, we are flying with Air Asia. I booked this flight via the Air Asia app and I honestly super love their app because they don't only show Air Asia flights, but all airlines starting off with the best rates. And Air Asia usually offers the best rates possible. Hashtag not an ad. You're welcome, Air Asia. 
<laughs> and here I am, looking like that passenger you don't wanna mess with. Just kidding. <laughs> Together with my oma, ang cute lang talaga kasi we're leaving during sunrise. The overall vibes of our departure is just so bright, just like my excitement na makarating na ng Korea. Time to enter the plane! Gosh guys, the anticipation leading up to this moment. Yes, another line, but luckily I was able to upgrade our seats to 7th row from 32nd row, which is the pinaka dulo na ng plane. And speaking of the devil, here's a quick look of what our plane looks like. Now, let's take our seats and listen to the cabin crew's safety precaution. And tighten the belt by pulling on the buckle strap. To unfasten, lift the metal flap. Whenever the seat belt sign is on, you must return to your seat and fasten your seat belt securely. Should an oxygen mask automatically drop from the compartment above your seat, immediately pull the mask firmly towards you. Sorry to interrupt. Are you guys ready? Let's fly up, up and away! Goodbye Philippines! See you again in 9 days! Yes, that's how long we're staying in Seoul cause guys, there's a lot of places to visit in Seoul kaya need talaga more than a week ang stay. Since the flight is 3 hours and 50 minutes long, the best way to kill time is lumamon lang ng lumamon. <laughs> I added meals to our flight tickets kaya naservan kami ng food on board. But in case you weren't able to, you may still buy food to plane mismo. Look, I was even able to buy Chucky and my fave snack, honey butter potato chips. Packages. Let's go! Hi, so. Ah. Oh, diba? Hirap makontain ang excitement na finally we have landed in Seoul. Anyway, it's a long, long way pa before we can finally roam around the streets of Seoul. Kaya let's appreciate muna the beauty of Incheon International Airport. Guys, airport pa lang ng Korea, tourist spot na agad because this airport has been rated by Skytrax as the fourth best airport in the world the world's best international transit airport, and one of the world's cleanest airports. And as a person na twice na nakarating ng Incheon International Airport, I can really attest na this airport is just the best. Hi, nako talaga. Too bad I wasn't able to take a video yung CR dito. Baka rin kasi mapagkamara na kong pervert, diba? At imbis sa hotel, sa police station ako dumiretso. <laughs> Pero kasi the restrooms here are super clean and very high-tech. Like, the toilets have heaters, bidets, individual soap and tissue dispenser. Pwedeng pwede ka na matulog sa CR nila. Anyway, enough of that. Masyado tayo na ang pag-usapan ng CR. <laughs> right now, we're going to take their shuttle train. Yes, they even have their own train inside the airport. Just to conveniently transfer you to different terminals as well as a station for subways and buses. Walang kahasal-hasal. By the way, this shuttle train is for free. So kung bored ka while waiting for your flight, eh only rides ka dito. Here comes the train! The train is Chincha Yepuda. Really beautiful. Ayan, nagsimula na ako mag-Korean kasi nasa Korean na tayo. <laughs> and Chincha, clean. Koreans are just very good in maintaining things like this. So right now, we're going to transfer from Terminal 3 to collect our check-in baggages sa kabilang side ng airport. The ride is not that long but enough to briefly experience the brilliance of Korean Railway. So ayan, samahan nyo ako mag-baggage hunting. Alam nyo ah, good thing at the time we arrived, konti lang yung tao sa airport even though it's a Saturday. 
Kaya as you can see, pwede pa akong mag-cartwheel sa gitna while waiting for our baggages. We have three check-in baggages, kaya naman I'm very alert as they gradually release the baggages. Oh, by the way, for your information, AirAsia plane tickets do not include check-in baggages. So you have to add that as a separate payment. Each passenger is allowed to have up to 20 kilos of baggages to check in. So regardless kung ilang bag yan, as long as it doesn't exceed 20 kilos, otherwise you'd have to pay for excess weight. Now another train ride, but this time we're finally going to our hotel! Yay! There are a total of 15 stops and one line change to reach City Hall Station, which is the nearest station to the hotel we're checking in. Kaya mahaba-habang biyahe pa ito, like around 2 hours. I am not sure if you have noticed or realized, pero we haven't really went outside yet to breathe the fresh cold air of Seoul. Because from the airport, nag-train agad tayo going to the hotel. So, talaga nakaka-build up ng anticipation to finally get out and be on the streets. And now, we're finally outside! Guys, we're only seeing a very small portion of Seoul, pero ang ganda na agad. I mean, look at the trees and look at the ground. Super clean. Here's our hotel. For this trip, we're checking in at ENA Suite Hotel, Namdemun, Seoul. I booked this hotel at bookings.com because it's one of the more affordable hotels, yet still 4 stars. And it's very near the subway station and bus stop. Hi everyone, now we're going to Myeongdong to do some little shopping. So ngayon naglalakad kami sa streets. I'm gonna show you. So we are coming from our hotel, and then actually, guys, it's kind of cold right now, like uh, like 15 or 14 degrees. So not too cold. I think later nalamig yata. Mas nalamig later. So parang ano sa ngayon? Aircon coldness ganon. Let's cross here. Look at the leaves. The autumn leaves have fallen. Oh my gosh, sorry, it's rough. <laughs> Can you hear yung ingay na yun? May nag-rally yata sa kabilang street. Hindi <laughs> gusto ko lang nangyayari pero may rally ganyan. Hi, nako again. Sorry talaga guys sa noise. Na timing na may rally pa near our hotel. Anyway, right now we're passing through Doksagung Stonewall Road which is the K-drama filming location of Love Struck in the City, Youth of May, Dodo Sol Sol Lala Sol, Goblin, and so much more. Now, we're passing by City Hall, which is the location of the rally. Kaya, voice over na lang muna ako para di kayo magambara ng loud sound from the rally. Currently, we're at Chonggyecheon Stream, which was restored back in 2003. They removed an elevated highway in order to restore the stream. Sana laging ganitong projects ng government, no? Restoring Mother Earth. That will be nice. We're currently walking around Uljuro Ilga and on your right, you can see Lotte Mall which is yung parang SM nila but make it very high-end. All lit up for Christmas. Time for dinner! Finally, our first meal in Seoul. We are dining at BBQ Chicken and Beer in Myeongdong. When you go to Korea, one of the dishes that you really really have to try is their fried chicken. I know what you're thinking. Marami namang ganyan sa Philippines. Guys, Korean fried chicken is so different here in Seoul from what we have in Manila. Specifically, the fried chicken here at BBQ Chicken and Beer. BBQ Chicken and Beer is one of the most well-known Korean fried chicken restaurant chain not only in Seoul but in the entire world. Their branch here in Myeongdong is kinda hard to find and notice cause nasa alley siya and nasa second floor. So you really have to pin it to Google Maps and use your GPS. In case you can't find it, they have a lot of branches naman across Seoul. The restaurant is medyo bar looking but a lot of families na may kids and even sila Abuji and Harmony ay nagdadining pa rin dito. Nakakatuwaan talaga yung ambiance ng restaurant cause it's very lively, K-pop music is just playing in the background and my viewing din sila of K-pop music shows. Here we ordered a fish cake soup na talaga namang ang daming sahog as you can see. It's also a bit spicy which made it unique. 
And now, the most awaited and highly anticipated Korean fried chicken! Tada! They offer a lot of flavors, but we chose this because it's their best seller. It's the Golden Olive Fried Chicken. Super crispy, like may malakas na sound talaga when you bite into it. And nomo nomo tasty. Chincha mashi soyo. Woo! And after Lumamon, we have to explore naman the street foods in Myeongdong. This street na pure street food is located near Oljuro Ilga Station. Here, you can find, I think, all of the Korean street foods na talaga namang mapatusok-tusok ka sa lahat. If I'm not mistaken, they all open at night. Kaya naman is very lively here at night. Cause dagsaan talaga mga tao, even foreigners and even Filipinos. Yes, magugurat ka na lang may nagkatagalog sa rakod mo na nagsasabing, Teka, busog na ako pero gusto ko pa. <laughs> you know what I really admire about the street foods here in Korea? They're all very clean. Like, you can see the ground and their individual carts. No mess at all. Hindi yung mga tumatagas na water or oil sa ground. Kaya naman, you will definitely get that peace of mind na safe kumain ng street foods here. Now, let's eat my favorite Korean street food ever. Hotok or Korean fan cake. Yes, that's fan cake with an F. <laughs> wow, guys. Takoyaki. Aside from the street foods, there are a lot of neighboring stores to shop at, like clothing stores, Korean skincare stores, and there's also Olive Young, which is a very famous retail store here in Korea for affordable skincare, makeup, and fragrances. Oh, Blackpink! Ah, Jisoo! The place where we ate makto before, three years ago, <laughs> along Myeongdong. Now, it's time for our K-pop merch boodle part 1. For the first installment of our K-pop merch shopping galore, we are going to Myeongdong Station which is a bit of a long walk from Myeongdong Street Foods to find City Records. City Records is a store that sells K-pop albums at a cheaper price. I actually didn't know about this store until I saw a post from a fellow tourist in our Facebook group, Korea Travel Guide. And she brought her children here, na super K-pop fan just like me, to go shopping because as I've said, they're selling these albums a bit cheaper as compared to Eba. This is truly a K-pop haven. Not gonna lie, I felt so overwhelmed when I entered the store because grabe sobrang daming K-pop albums. It's like they have everything from BTS, Blackpink, Treasure, TXT, ITZY, 80s, NCT, and Hypen, Stray Kids, Twice. If lahat ng meron dito sa nabi ko, eh baka maging one hour vlog na ito. <laughs> Pero gets, they have it all here. Kaya naman parang gusto mo lang talagang bilihin lahat ganon. Buti na lang, wala silang shopping basket or baka meron pero di ko na napansin. Why? Because baka lagay lang ako nalagay sa basket at mabaon na ako sa utang. What I also love about this store is kahit super daming albums, everything seems to be so well organized. Kaya naman, you really get to enjoy browsing everything because all of the albums are well sorted and categorized. Also, what's so cool about the experience is that you get to shop with a lot of fellow K-pop stands. Mga kapwang budol na budol na ng mga koreano. Ay, ang gasto talaga maging K-pop stan, no? Anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And now, here's a sneak peek of my Korea travel vlog number 2. Good morning, real fam. Today, we are at our day 2 in Seoul and we're going to Nami Island.